Hello everyone. I tried to do a live today at lunchtime when I had my lunch. I had some Taco Bell and it wasn't working right. It would they everybody said it was buffering and stuff and it didn't I didn't see anything going on on my end. It was but it did seem like the audio was a little off, but uh and you know I watched a couple lives earlier today and they were having trouble too so I don't know it was really storming bad and stuff so I think maybe that had something to do with it or or something but I'm sorry about that and I'll give it a try again it was just a spur of the moment thing and hopefully next time it'll work better and I appreciate everybody showing up that did uh, very much okay let's see here we've got a lot of prayer requests today and I'm going to get through them here and help everybody. Okay, um, Life with Stephanie's grandmother uh, needs prayer. Kara Hamill's granddaughter is still in the hospital and her daughter is really having a tough time. Um, praise report for Jennifer's friend who is in the fire. Uh, she's home and everything. No external burns, no permanent damages to her lungs and windpipe. And that's just a miracle, y'all. The prudent gal's friend Randy was diagnosed with cancer. Jennifer's sister has an unspoken request. Zach's aunt is still in pain after her operation. She went to a doctor Thursday. Um, Zach, give us an update on uh, how she's doing. Uh, <clears throat> praise report for Donna's friend Sue. She came through her surgery well uh, and she's doing good. She ate for the first time after having throat cancer removed. Uh, she's still in the hospital, but doing good. And praise report, uh, my sister-in-law Angel is doing good and little pain and no spasms now. Uh, Norma needs continued prayers and Norma's two cousins have cancer and Norma's mom needs an unspoken request. And, uh, you know, I just want to say something right here. Uh, if you have more than one request, that is fine. Don't worry about it. If you've got five, however many you got, you don't don't think that that I or anyone here would say, you know, that, you, know you don't need to say you're sorry if you have more than one or or two. Don't don't worry. That's what I'm here for. That's what we're all here for. We'll pray for each and every one of them. So, just go ahead and just turn them in. I don't don't worry about how many there is. Okay, y'all. Uh, I really mean that. It doesn't bother me a bit. This is more important to me than anything I could do on a on a video. Anything. So, this is my number one. That's why it's first on my show. So, don't don't feel bad if you've got a lot going on, because we we can pray for each and every one of them, and 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 God will listen just the same. Uh, Leah had Botox for migraines and headaches she's been having. Uh, tumbleweed needs an unspoken request. Christy's aunt has cancer and other problems. Christy's friend is recovering from a brain aneurysm and still in a nursing home. And Christy's family for health and for her family. Uh, Crystal, uh, she, I didn't write down the update, I don't think, which I think she's doing better now. Crystal uh, was sick and ha she couldn't stop coughing. I think she's starting to do better now because she had a show yesterday. Uh, praise report, life of a wannabe fit girl's husband is safe and sound at the training location. He'll be home in June. Keep praying it goes smoothly. And she went for her job interview and was hired on the spot. Amen. We were praying that she'd get that, get a job. The prudent gal's cousin has kidney failure. Mark Robb for sinus congestion. Tracy's mom passed away on Friday, y'all. <clears throat> Remember her and her family. Sherm has been sick to his stomach and diarrhea. My son Logan, his left knee is hurting bad. Um, that's from when he fell back there. It's been hurting. Um, and Logan's friend hurt her foot. An unspoken request for her. Uh, Terry Henson's friend Tommy for health issues. 
and living outside the box with Gray Square. Um, Gracie Square is her name. Um, she's pregnant and her water broke at 26 weeks. And they're trying to keep the baby in. And, and the baby's name is Olivia. It's a girl. In for nine more weeks. Um, Joy's water broke with Logan at 25 weeks. And, you know, he was, he was born then. I mean, there was no... I think they tried and they were able to keep him in for like a, a week. But that was, you know, 34 years ago. I'm sure now these days, you know, they've got so much more technology to help these preemies. Um, it wasn't, they, they didn't have too much uh, when Logan was born. I mean, they did, but, but they uh, didn't have a great success rate way back then, you know, like, like I'm sure they do now. So um, let's just hope that, Hope that this baby, Olivia, stays in, everybody, for nine more weeks. We need to pray real hard on this one. Um, kids touch my heart, you know. They touch my heart, and um, every minute that that baby can stay in, she is getting healthier and healthier. So let's, let's, hope, that, let's hope it happens. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. I especially want to pray for the little baby Olivia, Lord. It's not born yet. Let's hope that she can stay in till full term, Lord, so that she gets all the, the benefits from being in. Lord, name I pray, amen. Okay, it's not the right one. Our Bible reading today comes from Acts 1. 4 through 11, I think. Yep. Okay. On one occasion while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift that my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, and all, and all, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They weren't looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly Two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Amen. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's been pretty rainy and stuff here today it's it's trying to clear up a little bit right now we got we went to Walmart we've got a little a little haul from there and we got um, uh, some cucumbers and uh, one banana pepper plant and we planted it out there in the garden and if you look on my channel you'll see a picture of my um, I think it would be there. I sent out a, a community tag or message, you know, on and I sent a picture of the uh, garden, but I'll show you a picture too. Uh, it's it's ready to go. I mean, we planted some. I still got to plant some carrot seeds and radish seeds, and uh, my brother's getting some onions and a few more cucumbers. Okay, our devotions today are entitled uh, Real Life. This is from Soul Matters, Wisdom and Inspiration for the Important Issues of Your Life, Soul Matters for the Heart. Available at Barnes & Noble if anybody wants to get one and follow along or read for yourself. It's a very good book. Very good. A note of thanks. When the miracle happened, I was overjoyed. I couldn't believe it was actually true. I, Max Davis, finally a university degree. 
To this day, I don't know if it was an act of God or if the professors were just tired of seeing me. Anyway, as a demonstration of my joy, I dropped a note of gratitude to my favorite high school teacher, Mrs. Hammonds. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have made it to college, much less through it. During my senior year, she went the extra mile for me and helped me understand an extremely difficult subject, a subject I needed in order to be accepted into college. Mrs. Hammonds regularly met me before class. Several times during the semester, she took time out of her schedule to work with me after school. I reminded her of her sacrifices in my note. A few days later, to my other su surprise, I received a letter of response back from her, a letter that forever affected my perspective on personal relations. She had since retired and wrote how much my note meant to her. She explained that in her 30-something years as a teacher, she received very little gratitude. She told how she had given her life to teaching only for most of her pupils to forget her. I'll never forget the last line of her letter. Thanks for making one old worn out school teacher so happy. Read it one more time, but slowly. Thanks for making one old worn out school teacher so happy. Could you hear the appreciation ringing in that statement? This woman really appreciated being appreciated. What a revelation. Ever since then, I've made it a point to try to show people gratitude for even the little things they do for me. Never in my wildest dreams, though, could I have imagined the positive returns on what have seemed my small and insignificant efforts. It's amazing how far people will go when they know they are being appreciated. Oh, yeah, it's, it is nice to be appreciated. That's for sure. Is that something? Water. I think. Uh, let me see what this is. I think there's some water still here. Right there. there we go. Okay. Now it's time for jokes of the day. By the way, tonight's Seafood Saturday, before I forget. Um, Mom. Having trouble with your computer, son? Son. My PC says it can't see my printer. Mom. I'm not surprised. Look how messy your room is. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm talking about, Mom. A farmer was milking his cow... He was just starting to get a good rhythm going when a bug flew into the barn and started circling his head. Suddenly, the bug flew into the cow's ear. The farmer didn't think much about it until the bug squirted out into his bucket. It went in one ear and out the other. <laughs> uh, sarcasm will get you nowhere in life. My boss told me. Well, it got me to the international finals in Santiago, Chile in 2009, I informed him. Really? He asked. No, I said. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Teacher, uh, when I was your age, I learned very quickly and was not as slow as you are. Student. Wow. You must have had a good teacher then, didn't you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Judge, is there any reason uh, you could not serve as a juror in this case? Juror, I don't want to be away from my job that long. Judge, can't they do without you at work? Yes, but I don't want them to know it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you do when your nose goes on strike? You pick it. <laughs> it's time for Joy's joke of the day. Beep, 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 Okay, why can't idiots make Kool-Aid? They can't get a quart of water to stay in the envelope. Uh, 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 uh. Okie dokie. 
And now, mm. hey Joy, yeah. it is time for Who Is This? Okay, mm. okay. Where is it? What? 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 Um, I don't know what this stupid thing's doing. Come on, go somewhere. That way. Look at that. It keeps going to this. Oh, no wonder. I got a bunch of things on here I need. To... Too much information on it. Okay, now it's better. I can see. I need to see. There we go. Now, let's see who I'm looking for here. Yeah, it's time to plant. I'm ready. What is all this? Okay, here it is. Our woman of the day yesterday, Wendy Williams. And the man of the day yesterday was... Very talented Michael Keaton. So funny in that movie, Mr. Mom. It's real old. Y'all, if you haven't seen it, check, up, check that movie out. From his from years and years ago. And then for tomorrow, just guess who you think it is. This one. She was Tracy on the Partridge family. And... This one, you should be able to get these because they were famous when they were young. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, I did that one. And then this one, he was Danny on the Partridge family. Really got on your nerves. He was all the time getting into something. Had the... Okay, yeah, guess who it is in the comments. Don't be scared. And now it's tablet time, tablet time, friendly neighborhood tablet time. Okay. Hmm, I remember showing that. Mm-hmm. And I remember... Yeah, I remember showing that and that and that. And that. Uh, hmm. Friday, today, Saturday. Okay, I think we saw that then. Come on, where are we at here? Yep. Man, we just had a big. Uh, we had a big tablet time yesterday. Yeah, here we go. Here's something new. Sorry it took so long. I can't believe I fell for that scam. Face it, Kevin. You're a band-aid and you were bound to get ripped off. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're bound to get ripped off. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, gosh, y'all. Our pizza last night was so good. For Friday Pizza Nighty. It really was. We used that Canadian bacon that we had that I showed and, and just mushrooms. And it was garlic naan bread that we used for the crust. It really looked like a gourmet pizza. I mean, it, it was like a gourmet pizza almost. It was, it was great. I mean, we ate it all up. We made two of those and Joy and I split one and then Logan had the other. He got way bigger appetite than either one of us, but two pieces was plenty for Joanna. And uh, if you get into pizza Friday Pizza Nighty, uh, send me a picture of your pizza pie. Look here, we got we got Teresa, sassy T. Look at that, going for that Friday Pizza Nighty. 
Send us in your picture, gobbling your pizza down. It doesn't have to be homemade. It could be one you bought frozen. It could be one you bought from Little Caesars. It could be one you made. And this morning we got some of them jumbo. Man, I tell you what, I don't know if this thing's open right here. Let me see. I want to show y'all one of these. If I can get the thing. Okay. Look at this, y'all. Well, that was a little bent up. Let me get one of these things a little more spry. Here's a nice one. Look. From Sam's Club. The ones from Aldi are good, too, but these are super, super fresh. I mean, we had them this morning with some of that Canadian bacon and uh, eggs, uh, egg and um, cheese. And here's Logan's. That little piece that's on his is, is what was left of mine. He, he, he went ahead and ate what was left of mine. But he had one of those, and then he had him some cornflakes with it. Good, good breakfast. And, you know, the Canadian bacon doesn't have near the fat of regular bacon, I don't think. Uh, I, didn't look again, I didn't look at the thing, but I've heard that. That it doesn't have as much fat. I know it doesn't have as much fat as sausage. So... Got some jokes. Oh, we, I showed this one a while back. She didn't know. I'll show it again. It's funny. We've lost the remote. Look. <laughs> He's got the dog in there. <laughs> pushing it back and forth. And, that, forth and, that. <laughs> and pulling his hand up and down. <laughs> oh, somebody's trying to call. I'm sorry. I am busy. Okay, here's another one. Oh, no. Oh, that's a great first effort, kids, but let's try using the napkins from the pantry. Oh, no. Glad the company didn't come over. <laughs> oh, gosh. This one's... Billy has been caught stealing more than once. What did he steal? Pens. I don't know. Why would he steal? Why would he steal? I bring home more than enough pens for him from the office. Uh, maybe he thinks it's okay. <gasps> oh, here you go. I keep losing my phone. Why doesn't someone just invent a phone that stays attached to the wall? Uh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I'm already, I'm ready to offer an 18-year-old, 18-year contract, free room and board, weekly allowances, and no spankings. If you come out and sign now, <laughs> it says something else down at the bottom. I don't know what that says. It says collective bargaining agreement. Is it? Frustrated wants a due date passed. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I did put a picture on here of my garden. It's not huge, y'all, but I'll get every inch of it will be growing. I get as much as I can out of that little area, believe me. <clears throat> Anybody that has seen it, it looks funny right now. It looks kind of squimpy. You just wait. I'll have pictures later, of course, when the thing grows, starts growing. I'm going to put my... I always put my radishes just lined along here. <laughs> right along there. And you can take all the way down through here on the edge and plant things like that. Like radishes, carrots and stuff. Because they go straight up, you know. I mean, the, the, the top part goes straight up. And it's not very bushy, so you can get a lot out of it. I, I have to get, like I said, everything I can out of all the room. Um, we've got several different kinds of tomatoes. Six of them are better, boy. <clears throat> I really like those. Um, these, it's hard to see these all the way back here, but there's these two. Those are pretty big. If you can tell, they look big. Those are the cucumbers we got at Walmart today. I had to get them because they look like they were on steroids or something. They are huge. And we got a banana pepper plant. 
today and it's you can't see it too good right here but but yeah I like I said I still got to plant some seeds and my brother's bringing some onions I don't think I'm gonna mess with potatoes this year they take up a lot of room you know and and they get real bushy and stuff and you know for what I, the amount that I would have to be able to put out I wouldn't get that great of a yield I don't think so I'll just keep buying our potatoes but the radishes I'll probably grow them as fast as they grow I'll probably grow them three times I'd say but uh, it's been raining and stuff since then since I took that picture so I can't go out there and finish right now it's it'd be messy to try to do that but um, okay I think that was it let me see no, it isn't. We still got one more. I don't know what this is. So. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, hello, can you come and help us? We left the keys in our car. No, no way. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> okay, that, that was it. Okay. We went to Walmart, got a few things. Uh, Logan's birthday is tomorrow, and he had a little money for his birthday, so he got him some. Uh, he wanted to show me to show these movies. He bought some movies that he really likes. He got the. This is the Men in Black trilogy. He got. He got these at Do uh, Dollar General, and it's got you know the first one, and it's got Men in Black two, and. The Men in Black 3. Um, this one has uh, Adam Sandler movies, Grown Ups and, and the second, uh, Grown Ups 2. And that's funny. And he loves the Minions. He's, I don't know if this is just called Minions. Well, anyway, it's a Minions movie. And I love the minions. Everybody does. Okay, what else did he get? Here's his 49% cacao cocoa M&M's dark chocolate peanut. Yeah, his birthday's tomorrow and mom's coming over to uh, eat with us and stuff. We got some Egg, po egg, potato, bacon, and cheese sauce breakfast wrap. El Monterey. I haven't tried this one. Usually you can't find bacon in any of these stuff. They're usually all sausage. And he got him a Oreo double chocolate chocolate candy bar. Um, oh, yeah. I'll show that one in a minute. We're going to have one night and a few nights. Some sloppy joes. We didn't get man, which this time we thought we would try this one. It, it's probably pretty good. Del Monte's good. But we got these buns, y'all, and they were kind of priced. I think they were like $2.60 some or something. But look, y'all, Artisano Bakery Buns. My Sara Lee. Have y'all tried that artisanal bread that that they've got? The Sara Lee. Oh my gosh, that stuff's awesome. But this is the artisan bakery buns. They're so soft they just want to like fold over. I mean, it's it's unbelievable how soft these are. So I definitely want to have those sloppy joes in a few days so that those will still be like that when we use it. I've been mentioning I don't know how many times I mentioned this. I always forget to write it down. Slow cooker liners. Uh, the brand we were getting, the Kroger brand, only has four in it. And this was like 270 some or something like that, I think. And it's got eight. So, you know, that's obviously a way better value. And boy, they save up on cleaning time, y'all. Um, let's stay there. 
on the markdown rack some of them's already been into it joy probably little mini cupcakes little mini cupcakes for a dollar 78 they were save a dollar 19 so they were on two almost three dollars oh, three dollars yeah okay logan i got this for him for one of his reviews that he's going to do coming up he's in new as far as we know bacon wrapped jalapeno popper duet mm -hmm. he's wanting to do that when he does his next one and i can't eat regular popcorn snyder's has one that's called puffin corn if y'all ever see it grab it you can't find it hardly anywhere but it's fabulous this one is my second favorite and since I can't find the Snyder's ever and it's the Chester's puff corn this is the, the cheese it's really 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 good and I can eat it now I think that's oh yeah I think I can show this it's put together yeah we put it together we got a little carrier for when that you know if joy has to go by herself to take the kitty to the vet there's no way you're gonna control i try i i held her the two times we went and it was a chore i mean you don't want to get under the pedal or anything but she was wild in the car so we got one of these things we don't we're not trying to be mean to her or anything but you know it's for safety and she, she'll be comfortable in this, you know. And it's not very far anyway. It only takes about, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe to get there. So, so we thought we should have one of those in case she ever needs to go anywhere with Joy or, or whatever, you know. So, and that was from Walmart too. Now, I've been waiting for a shirt for a while now. And I thought I would open it up today. It came. So. I got the hole started. I have to. I hope it's right. I haven't seen it. on both sides <clears throat> they didn't uh, they wouldn't let you have any more uh, very many letters I wanted to actually you know say a few, you know just a few more words that was the front and this is a back hey you know may as well use myself as a walking advertisement right but uh it was just a company called, I think it's Shirt Scope online. And you can personalize, you can have, they won't allow more than 30 letters. That's why, and I, I was like, that can't be 30 letters. And that is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24 to 5, 26 letters just for that. So you can see it doesn't take much to get to 30. But I, I wanted to open that today. I knew that had to be it. But I will be styling and profiling. So if I miss anything, I'll show it to you tomorrow. Do we have a kitty over here? Nope, kitty's gone. I was going to let her say goodbye. But um, I don't know when I'll try to do a live again. It just kind of hit me today. Uh, just It was just bad timing since it wouldn't play right. It was buffering. So tonight is Seafood Saturday. And we're having, I showed it on my live, but I don't think there was many people there. We're having the... We're having this, uh, some of this crust, uh, encrusted, Parmesan encrusted tilapia. And 
these are only $3.99. This is the best deal. These are only $3.99 at Aldi. Jumbo butterfly shrimp. There's about 12, at least 12. Uh, there was 13 last time in here. Looks like a small box, but they got them crammed in here. I can tell you. They're crammed in there. So $3.99, y'all. That's a great deal. We're going to have that with it. We're going to have some of that... Uh, we're gonna have some of that uh, potato salad that was from that we got from Sam's Club, and uh, that might be all we're gonna have. I don't know if we'll fix it, another vegetable or not. I think we might just have potato salad and shrimp and the fish. Maybe we'll probably have some uh, cucumber, but I don't know if an avocado is. Uh, it's got to be just right to use it. So if there's one that's right, we'll have an avocado with it too to get in some more vegetables. But everybody, I hope you liked the show today. I appreciate you watching so much. Please press that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I appreciate everyone so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.